Greetings and salutations, you selfish sons of bitches. I hope you're all proud of yourself. I vowed, I promised myself, I would never watch this piece of shit again. But you guys, I didn't call you. I didn't call you. I didn't call you. I guess me cussing sounds like my daughter's name. Uh, yeah, I promised I was never going to watch this movie again. But you guys begged, you pleaded, you harassed me on every live stream I did. Do a Friday's Dead commentary. Well, time to give the people what they want. So, give it about three minutes or so, and we'll get this horrendous thing started. Uh, I don't know if I have the strength for this, guys. White Tim, Tony MH, we got Coronation Street Number One Fan, The Techno Drone, Alex Lim Music and Guitar, The Walking Dead, Ultra 97, Nathan Oswald, Killer Pez 1093, yes, I have a lot of strength. Every adult's favorite word, yes, absolutely. Uh, Daniel Beltran, finally, are you putting on the cursed counter? If I had a way to do that on this mobile live, that would be perfect for this, but no, I don't. Sorry to put you through the... Yeah, I'm sure you guys are very sorry. I'm sure you guys are just going to keep you up at night thinking about me watching this movie again. <laughs> so I did a little poll on Patreon. I was going to let my patrons decide this, and I gave them four options. Uh, I don't remember what the other two options were, but one of them was The Lost Boys, and one of them was Freddy's Dead. And they were neck and neck until The Lost Boys won. And I was going to do that, I think it was last weekend or the weekend before, but something was going on with Mobile Live, so I couldn't do it. But in the meantime, I had other patrons chime in, and again, Freddy's Dead was the clear winner. So, just going to get this out of my system, and Lost Boys will be next. So, Lost Boys is probably, along with The Thing, my favorite horror movie of all time. So, that one will be easy for me to do a commentary on. But Freddy's Dead, just going to be me bitching and cussing at the screen and cursing at you guys the entire time. So, I hope you're in for that. Uh, I will say, too, that you guys are all joining in. I'm going to give it about another minute, maybe two minutes, until I uh, uh, get this thing rolling, just to give a chance for everybody to come in, everybody to get their movies queued up, if you're going to watch it along with me, which you better endure this fucking pain along with me. Don't make me do it by myself. But the other thing I will say that I say at the beginning of every single one of these commentaries, they're, they're kind of commentary Q&As, because I answer a lot of questions while I'm doing it, but try to keep the questions at least related to the Nightmare franchise, if not Freddy's Dead itself. You know, I don't, I don't really, I will probably answer a few if it starts to get, sorry guys. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I've had that happen on all of my streams at least once. So, uh, hopefully I didn't just fuck my whole video up. But anyway, as I was saying, try to keep your questions Freddy related or Nightmare on Elm Street related or Freddy's Dead related because I don't want to answer a bunch of Chucky questions or you know, the Shining questions or something like that while I'm talking about Freddy's Dead. So just to keep up with the theme, try to keep it along with that. And hello, everybody. The, the chat's rolling. Actually, while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get the chat pulled up on my laptop over here so it's easier to manage. So you guys keep chiming in. Let a few more people get in. we got 95 watching already. We're going to start the movie here in about a minute and a half. So you guys go ahead and get your shit ready, and we'll endure this pain together. If my YouTube crashes again, I'm just going to turn off my uh, my Wi-Fi and use my 4G. For whatever reason, that worked better last time. But uh, this mobile live thing, for whatever reason, since I started doing these commentaries, it always likes to fuck up on me once or twice. So if it does start, you know, buffering or whatever, don't worry. I'll restart the uh, app within a second or two, and I'll get everything rolling again, and we'll be good. All right. Get the chat going. Looks awful lively so far. God, just staring at the menu of Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, pisses me off. I hope you guys are in for how angry I'm about to be to watch this fucking thing again. Oh, my God. All right. Let me see. There's the pop-out chat. Okay, so now let me maximize that. Now that is good to go. Awesome. Uh... Nathan Oswald sent in a super chat, $2. Was there any potential for this movie? Yeah, there was a potential. If you, if you watch my review, I actually go over some of the initial ideas they had for this movie. One of them was written by Peter Jackson, where Freddy's become like a joke, and kids go to sleep to go into Freddy's world so they can kick the shit out of him, and Freddy gets tired of that shit and comes back and starts murdering kids again. That alone, even if that was a five-minute short, sounds better than anything in this movie. This movie has no redeeming qualities for me. It's probably my least favorite movie ever made. And we're going to start it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the menu. Freddy's dead. 
<sighs> Man, I don't know if I'm ready for this, guys. All right, play movie. The good thing is, though, I got to keep the volume way the fuck low so I don't get a, com a community strike for copyright. So I don't even have to listen to most of this movie. I just have to watch it. So here we go. New Line Cinemas. All right. Freddy's Dead commentary, guys. Starting. Worse than The Last Jedi. Come on. Horrible comparison. I'm not a fan of The Last Jedi, but this is on another level of that. Do you know the terror of he who falls asleep to the very toes he is terrified because the ground gives way under him and the dream begins? Frederick Nietzsche. I don't know who that is. Welcome to primetime, bitch. Freddy Krueger. That right there tells you what kind of movie you're in for. That it's self-referential in the worst ways. A Rachel Talalay film. And unfortunately, this was not the last Rachel Talalay film. I'll turn up a couple of notches so I can at least somewhat hear it. Freddy's Dead. The final nightmare. That was not the final nightmare. That will never be the final nightmare. Now we got our little Escape from New York style intro. Springwood, Ohio, 10 years from now. Mysterious killings and suicides wipe out entire population of children and teenagers. Remaining adults and experiencing mass psychosis, there is new evidence of one surviving teenager. Ooh. Exposition. Yeah, so... God. There's people out there that love this movie. Drewski McGillicuddy, if you're watching, he's one that constantly, me and him, fight over a little bit. Little G! 0803, that's my little brother. Everybody say hello. Garrett Dream Warriors is my favorite. You're damn right it is. Stop it, Jax. Shithead. So now we got our Twilight Zone intro where you got this fucker who can't act in a plane where he's all scared and shit and, uh, you know, there's no goblin on the wing. It's just Freddy coming up in a fucking Wizard of the Oz outfit. Oh, my God. Can't believe you guys are making me do this. All right, let's see what some of these comments are rolling in. Scoot this damn thing closer so I can actually see it. Ah! Come here! Reach! Okay. John Doe is so cringeworthy. Absolutely. When are we watching Child's Play 3 together? I will do a Child's Play 3 commentary because that's a movie that I love that needs to be defended. That is the movie, the reason why I am here in front of you all. If you don't know that little piece of trivia, that was my first horror movie I ever watched, so... Definitely pay your respects to Child's Play 3 for that reason alone, right? Uh, this movie sucks. Yes. Favorite movie of 2015. Random question. I love Dream Warriors 2. Dream Warriors is better than Dream Master. Absolutely. Will you do a Halloween commentary? I will do at least one Halloween commentary in the month of September or October because I'm getting ready to review all those movies. Um, probably do Season of the Witch at least. And... God, it's so bad. Nathan Oswald with another one. You and McRae should do commentary on Halloween 5. That would be interesting. That would be interesting because I cannot stand that movie. It's actually, unless my thoughts change as it stands right now, that's my bottom of the barrel Halloween movie. Even Re uh, Halloween Resurrection, I'll put a little bit above Halloween 5. So that would be interesting. Cody, I made the fourth Nightmare on Elm Street, the last one that I watched. Think I should bother with the other two ever. I mean, there is some people out there that think the Dream Child is better than Dream Master. I think those people are nuts. Um, but I, I do not like the Dream Child at all, uh, with the exception of the very first kill, which I think is one of the best kills in the franchise. Obviously, I can't stand anything about this movie, so I don't recommend this to anybody. Um, but if you haven't seen New Nightmare, I would definitely recommend that one. I don't know if you went that far yet, but... Um, for the sake of seeing them to finish out watching the franchise, yes, I will say see them, but don't expect very much. Rob Zombie's Nightmare on Elm Street. Don't you dare. <laughs> don't even speak that shit into existence. And here we go. Oh my god, this fucking Wizard of Oz thing. I did a little song too. Ah! <laughs> Fuck you. I don't understand what they thought they were making with this movie. I, I really don't. I know that Dream Master and Dream Child both weren't really given a whole lot of, you know, 
attention. They were being made along with the script all at the same time, so they never really gave this franchise the respect that it deserved after Dream Warriors. But when you got to this one, I just don't know what the fuck they thought they were making. I don't know if they thought this was going to be hilarious. I don't know if they legitimately thought this was going to be a cool, badass final chapter. I don't know if they just said, you know what, fuck it, let's just... I don't want to make any more Nightmare on Elm Street movies, so make it as horrible as possible so people don't ever ask for a Freddy movie again. I have no idea. But I have no clue how the fuck you come up with a movie that is this horrendous. Shotgun Sandwich has a super chat. So are you going to do a commentary on a movie you hate? This is great. Yes. I wasn't going to, but everybody kept asking me to, so I figured I'd give the people what they want. Maybe it'll be entertaining. Who knows? But I hate everything about this movie, so there's not going to be anything. I'm like, oh, this is a cool thing. No. I'm just going to be like, nope, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this. That sucks. This sucks dick. I hate this. Also, a word of warning, my two-year-old is in the other room with my daughter watching Elmo, so if she starts to freak out for whatever reason and I have to walk away, that's why. But I'll give you guys fair warning if that happens. Hopefully not. Commentary on Leprechaun 3, please. I haven't seen Leprechaun 3 in years. That was my favorite of the Leprechaun movies as a kid, but I haven't seen it in a long time. I've seen the first one a couple times since. I feel like I've watched this movie for an hour already, and we're just still on the opening credits. That's uh, This is horrendous, guys. This is torture. This is the final nightmare for me. I think Freddy's Dead, the final nightmare, is the worst thing I've ever seen. It's up there, man. It's up there. Uh, we are the Dream Warriors. Maybe tonight you'll be gone. Best nightmare on Elm Street movie ever. You'll be gone. I'm not sure what you're asking. I did do a Dream Warriors commentary, but... Hang on, people. Someone's knocking on my door. Edit. Sorry, my kids are popular in this neighborhood. Every five minutes. Can Shane and Bella come out to play? No, get the fuck off my lawn. Alright. Now we got Freddy again driving the bus. Even the Freddy laugh is ruined in this movie. Like the Freddy laugh is supposed to be a little bit menacing, and this one is just it's it's annoying. I mean, this is why look, like, I will contend, no matter Matt Turner, I'll get to your question in a second. I will contend that no matter what franchise you're a fanatic of, every franchise has their clear worst movie. You know, the Friday the 13th franchise has a couple you can debate. But you got the Halloween Resurrection, you got Freddy's Dead, you've got, you know, whether you say Jason Goes to Hell, Jason X, or Jason Goes to Manhattan. Some people even say Part 5. Freddy's Dead, to me, without argument, is by far the worst, worst movie of any of these big franchises. Like, I don't think Halloween Resurrection is even a, a quarter as bad as this movie. I don't think that what is my least favorite Friday the 13th movie, Jason Goes to Manhattan, I don't think that's even anywhere close to as bad as this one. It's because in Jason Goes to Manhattan, Jason is still Jason. In Halloween Resurrection, yes, Buster Rhymes is ridiculous, and some of the things they do around Jason is, or around Michael Myers is ridiculous, but Michael Myers is still Michael Myers. This fucker is not Freddy. This is a Looney Tunes character that has a fucking Christmas sweater and a hat. And I don't understand. I don't get the love for this movie with some people. Like, I, I try to entertain everybody's opinions. But this, to me, is like one of those movies I'm like, I, I, I will never understand anyone that could watch. Even nostalgia. How you could watch this as an adult and say, I love this. Matt Turner, do a commentary on the Bye Bye Man would be hilarious. That would be pretty funny. Although, in comparison to this, it's nothing. Whoa, I just lost. There we go. Sorry, I was probably blurry for a long time. Although, compared to this, it's nothing. I think Freddy's Dead is equally as bad as The Bye Bye Man. I don't know. Because The Bye Bye Man is, is bad at the point where you can almost laugh at it. This one, I, can't, I get no enjoyment out of it. It, just, it breaks my heart to see them do Freddy like this. 
You can tell it's 90s too because you got those little handheld video games. I used to have some of those, like it'd be like Sonic the Hedgehog 3 or something like that, and a little $20 thing you'd buy from like Namco at Toys R Us or some shit and just play it until the batteries run the fuck out. Brecken Meyer in his early days. I always think of Road Trip when I see him. And then you get what's her face, you know, Freddy's daughter. The worst final girl of this entire franchise by a landslide. This is going to be exhausting, just bitching for the <laughs> an hour and a half. Alright, let's see if we got some questions. Burn the DVD after the movie. If I wasn't a collector whore, I would. I think Freddy's Dead's... Oh, I already read that one. Uh, at least it tried something different. Stop hating. Uh, no. After having been killing for so long, Freddy has to entertain himself with his kills, well, I guess. Swear counter. I can't do a swear counter with a mobile live. If I eventually when I get a good laptop and I can do live with my laptop, I'll be able to do shit like that. But uh, no, on my phone I can't do anything. Do you think the plot taking away every goofy thing about it? Do you think the teenage wasteland plot could have been cool with a dark execution? It could have. I mean, Freddy's powerful to the point. It's it's a logic thing though because the first couple of Freddy movies are grounded in reality, and this is more cartoonish where you have. You know, the teenagers in Springwood, Ohio have been, you know, extinct. Well, who the fuck is going to live in Ohio then? You know what I mean? It's just, it's weird. But it, the, the some element of that story could have been done in a cool-ish way around this time period, I think. But this is not it. You think Freddy vs. Jason will ever get a sequel? No, I don't. Jason Goes to Hell or Texas Chainsaw Massacre Next Generation? I'll, Jason Goes to Hell, actually, I like a lot. I'll defend that movie. Next Generation is horrendous. Uh, let me see. Cody, you don't like the nice hearing from you, Carlos line? No, I don't. I don't think any of the, the one-liners in this movie are fun. Now you got Carlos. I remember seeing on the Nightmare documentary, too, this this blonde chick here who's kind of like the, the ass kicker or whatever. Whenever it showed her... She went, like, super weird goth. Like, she was, like, about five times the size that she is here. She had, like, I don't know if it was, like, her slave girlfriend or something, like, down below her. Like, kind of like how a dog lays against you. Like maybe she was on a chain or something. It was some weird shit whenever they interviewed her. <laughs> this chick must have had a fucked up life. Really can't hear what they're saying, so hopefully this doesn't. Uh... You gotta be very careful with commentaries because YouTube picks up the slightest little sound. And it's like, oh, that's Freddy's dead. Community strike. Yeah. So I don't. It's just <laughs> I ran out of shit to bitch about. I'll wait till Freddy comes back. Let me do some more questions there. What's up, Cody? Finally getting to watch a live stream on your channel. I'm stoked. Well, welcome. I wish it would have been a, a, a more fun movie to watch, or a, a better movie to watch. Um, I always remember this guy from Midnight Run. He was Alonzo Mosley. That's one of my favorite movies of all time. There's a, there's a positive about Freddy's Dead. It reminds me of Midnight Run for a split second. I'm Super Spencer. Uh, Freddy's 8, Freddy Goes to Space would have been better than this crap. Yeah, probably. Freddy's Dead or the Emoji Movie, and never saw the Emoji Movie, but I guarantee I'd like that more. Personally love this movie compared to the remake. The remake is just bad, not saying that it's Oscar, this is an Oscar movie either. See, I don't like the remake at all, but the remake has redeeming qualities about it. That's a movie that I think gets hated on a bit too much. Like, when people put that below this one, I would love to hear that argument. To each their own, but I would love to hear that argument. The remake was better than Freddy's Dead. Yeah, I, I agree. I was on my TV one day and saw Freddy's Dead on and watched the first 10 minutes, never watched another movie in the series, then saw your videos and realized it's a terrible movie and a great franchise. Well, thank God that I made some videos then because that is a crime if somebody watched a little bit of Freddy's Dead and swore off the whole franchise. So that makes me feel better. Cody Leach, say the most hateful thing to this movie. Oh, I have. I have in my review and at the first 20 minutes of this live commentary. Constant hate. 
So they get this John Doe character. I mean, he gets into the care of this little this little group of kids and fucking Freddy's daughter that she doesn't realize who the hell she is. I don't know where I'm from! Oh my god. Jax, get a spot and lay down, you fucking fidgety bastard. What do you want? What do you want? Hmm? You don't want to subject yourself to this. Go lick your own balls. I promise it's more fun. Yeah. I watched this movie one time as a kid. I think I was maybe eight or nine years old. Maybe a little bit younger than that. I saw it at a video store. And as much as I love Freddy movies, for whatever reason, this is one, like, people say that it, the, the few people that do love this movie usually point to nostalgia. They say, I watched it as a kid, I loved it as a kid, and so I love it as an adult. I never had that. For whatever, I saw this movie, and I was, it just, it was weird to me. I remember loving the fact that Alice Cooper was in it, and I would just fast forward to that part and watch it. But just, even as a kid, this movie turned me off, and I never really wanted to rewatch it. And then even in my teenage years going through, like, a, whenever I would do a Nightmare Marathon, I would, like, either lose steam by the time I got to this one and wouldn't feel like watching it, or I'd watch it and get bored and try to do something else. It is... I've never had a good experience watching this one. I remember watching Dream Child as a kid and liking elements of it. I remember, obviously, Dream Master was probably my favorite. But this one, I've just never, it's never clicked with me. I was going through the Freddy franchise, and I watched all of them while I skipped this movie. Yeah, I, I, I usually do that if I do a, a marathon. Cougar woman is the... Terrible little transitions, too. Like, whenever she goes in a dream, it's like... <laughs> so the budget of this movie alone just took a huge nosedive. I mean, Dream Master got the most money of the entire franchise, and the Dream Child took a huge dip because of the quality of Dream Master and the quality of Dream Child. And then you get to this, and it just feels like it was made for a TV episode. And the thing I don't understand, too, I mean, they, they, they're trying to make it a mystery about Freddy's child. To a degree. I mean, they kind of point you towards John Doe, but it's still kind of a mystery. But they include this dream sequence where the main character, and I'm going to have to look up her name because I don't remember it. She's having this dream where she's running around as a little girl, and you can clearly tell it's Robert Englund from his physique and from the way he says, come to daddy. And he you know does this, and then she wakes up. That tells right there your little your twist that you have in mind. Do a collector and collection marathon. Oh, I love those movies. I will review them eventually. Cody, imagine a slasher brawl movie where Chucky and Michael, Freddy, Jason, and Leatherface take on Pinhead. Could it work? Absolutely not. Could never make that a movie. It just, it would, no. That's something you can make like a YouTube video out of with like some fan film shit, but you could never make like a, a actual story around that. Cody Leach, did Johnny Depp cameo surprise you? I mean, I didn't really know who the hell Johnny Depp was when I was a kid, so the first time I ever saw this, no, it didn't surprise me. And then it was just kind of common knowledge that he was in this before I watched it, but no, it is, his cameo is, is uh, nothing that I like in this either. Hell. Here's the funny thing about this movie too, is I've seen it a number of times, and I hate it so much that you would think that I remember specifically the things that I hate about it, but there is so much of this movie that I just never can commit to memory. Like this whole thing that we're going through now where his dream sequences and her dream sequences are going back and forth and he just knocked the damn guard out of the window. Like I I might as well be watching this part for the first time. I remember like the cameos and shit. I remember the kills of the movie, I remember the third act where she goes in, but and I remember the Wizard of Oz shit, but everything else is just kind of a blur. And as soon as I get done with this commentary, it's going to fucking erase itself again. 
if you only watch one horror franchise for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ugh, that's tough. I don't know if I can answer that one. Probably Child's Play, because that's the best one of the ones that I love. I love Freddy more, and I love the concept of Nightmare more, and I watch them more often, but Child's Play is definitely, as far as consistency, it's better. Do you hate this movie more than Halloween 5? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Halloween 5, I think, is a bad movie. This is a movie that I hate. There's not many movies I hate that actually invoke anger. And it's because I love Freddy so much that this movie pisses me off. That's why people that love Halloween, that movie for them is Halloween Resurrection. When I watch Halloween Resurrection, I'm like, eh, it's a bad Halloween movie. Alright, so now they're in the Scooby-Doo van going towards Springwood, which apparently is two miles away. Big fucking road trip, two, uh, two miles. Welcome to Springwood. The acting quality in this reminds me of like Goosebumps or like a, a bad Are You Afraid of the Dark episode. Where do you see your subscriber count in five years? Wow. Well, I didn't see my subscriber count being at 15,000 at the end of a two year, which is where I'm at now. Um, uh, when I was at the end of one year, I was at 1,500 subscribers. And on the video I did for my one year anniversary, I did like a, it was kind of jokingly because I didn't think it was possible. I said, let's try to get to 5,000 by the end of uh, my second year. And I tripled that. So I, another year, I'll probably be at 50,000. That's a kind of that's an optimistic goal. Another year after that, maybe a hundred thousand uh, if I keep going. So five years, I would be. I don't know. Five years from now, I would hope eventually I could get to a million. I know it's very difficult to do that, but you know what I mean. It, it, if you work hard at it, it's possible. And I've seen people go from get, get that do the amount of work that I do that actually have. Um, or a little bit more work than I do that have gotten even farther than I have in sub counts in less time. So who knows what the future holds, but I would hope to at least get to a hundred thousand in the next couple of years. So now we stop off at this little fucked up carnival or fair, whatever the hell you want to call this. This is so off looking cockroaches coming off a of pizza. Yeah, fuck over the clown. Would you review The Serpent and the Rainbow by Wes Craven one day? I'm sure. There's there's a ton of movies that I want to review, guys. And there's a ton of movies that I will review regardless if I want to or not. But there's so many to get to. It's just going to take time. So, I mean, that's a movie that I've seen once that was intriguing. That um, once I start running out of franchises to review, I'll probably start doing director. Like, I'll do a John Carpenter review series and finish up some of his movies I haven't seen or haven't reviewed. I'll do a Wes Craven one. Um, stuff like that. So eventually, I'm sure I'll get to that one. Scarface or Goodfellas? Absolutely, Goodfellas. And I know I said I wasn't going to answer questions that don't have to do with Freddy, but I'm getting. I'm, I need some other things to talk about besides Freddy's Dead. So keep on Freddy's Dead focused, guys, if you can. But a couple of these one-off questions I will do. Freddy's Dead or Seed of Chucky? I will watch Seed of Chucky happily before I watch Freddy's Dead because there's still elements of Seed of Chucky that's entertaining, and Chucky is still Chucky. Now you got Roseanne and Tom Arnold. That's the stamp of credibility for this movie right there. No, I've already told you. What are your thoughts on Freddy's power glove? I mean, it's a nostalgic little thing to throw in there. But it just adds to kind of the ridiculous nature of the movie. Like that whole video game kill I think is silly. <clears throat> Let me see. Freddy's Dead or Jeepers Creepers 3? Jeepers Creepers 3 is better. 
I mean, Jeepers Creepers 3 has some elements of still being a Jeepers Creepers movie. It's just very poorly made. Like, I, pretty much any movie you stack against this movie, guys, I'm going to choose that one over this one. I think Freddy's Dead is one of the worst movies ever made, and it's probably my least favorite movie ever made. So, there's not really anything you're going to put up there. I'm going to be like, ooh, yeah, I'd rather watch Freddy's Dead than that. Cody, if you could redo the movie in your vision, how would it be different? Uh, I would go back to the Dream Warriors. I would do something with Dream Warriors. Because you had Dream Warriors, you had Dream Master, which carried on some of the elements of that, um, but also went in a new direction. And then you had Dream Child, which wrapped up the whole Alice storyline. So I would go back to doing Dream Warriors. I would, I would start off, which this movie did, with a completely new cast of characters that don't have any ties to previous movies. I would return to the whole thing about, you know, Freddy has just been doing his shit for a while. Don't have to have, like, a backstory or have anybody figure out who Freddy is. And then find a setting and try to do something where, again, kids just start getting killed off. Maybe incorporate the parents for a change where now it's been going on long enough where parents have started to believe and they're starting to help their kids stay up at night. Almost like Walking Dead or some shit like that where you have, like, a lookout and, you know, other people are trying to uh, sleep and uh, have something like that. Like incorporate the parents into the storyline. That would be a different element that we haven't seen where the parents finally believe, okay, we've had like, you know, 57 kids die in their sleep. Maybe we should probably listen to them. Nathan Oswald, make a direct sequel to Dream Warriors. Yeah, or just go back and do a direct sequel to that. Mm, let me see. Hallow Stream 2 was awesome. Yes, it was. It was a lot of fun. I think it was a lot better than the first one. So if you guys haven't seen that when this is done, check out. Uh, we did a Hallow Stream 2 on uh, Lee's channel, Drum Dumbs, where it was me, it was Drum Dumbs, it was the two guys from We Watched a Movie, Mike and Jay, and Dave McRae, and we just talked about the Halloween franchise for two and a half hours. Now, this is the only part of the movie that made me chuckle when I was a kid, whenever he's pulling out the map and it just starts opening and opening and opening and it says, you're fucked on it. That is the only small, minute detail in this movie that, like, if I saw a YouTube clip of it, I would always kind of, like, smile at least, but that's the only part. And it's because of the way he says it. Like, what's the map? Well, the map says we're fucked. Cody, do you believe that them going away from the established characters was the biggest sin? I do. Not necessarily, because they mostly did that with Dream Warriors. They just brought Nancy back into it. It's just the direction that they took and making it cartoonish and making it like a really bad horror comedy and just, you know, making a movie at the expense of taking Freddy serious. That's where their biggest crimes were, not really starting fresh the new cast. We have a timeline of Freddy here on the fucking chalkboard. Ugh. Do you think it would have been a good idea to have Nancy somehow be Freddy's daughter? No. Don't mess with Nancy. Nancy's like royalty. I mean, I see where you're going. I like how you're thinking outside the box of actually having a character that we give a shit about be Freddy's daughter, but I don't think that would make any sense with, um, with John Saxon's character because he's so great. I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't want to expend that character for the sake of a twist in this piece of trash, so... No. But I see where you're going for. You know what's funny? Now that I, I've been watching Are You Afraid of the Dark with my kids, and the more I watch this movie now, it really does feel like an episode of one of those shows, like Goosebumps or Are You Afraid of the Dark, the way that the acting is, and it's so, like, you know, weird and over-the-top goofy. It totally fits with that era of the 90s. That's kind of funny now. I'm kind of putting that two and two together. I've got one for you, Cody. In case you missed it, Freddy's Dead or Clown. I'd rather watch Clown. I don't really like Clown at all. There's some good elements of Clown, though. We're back, guys. All right. 
Like I told, I don't, I don't know what the hell causes that, but it happens every single stream at least once or twice. I just hope that it doesn't fuck up whenever we have the, uh, whenever it processes this video once we're done. That's what happened to Dream Warriors, is I had it happen a couple times, and it messed up the processing, you know, and whenever I was done, whenever YouTube compiled the video and put it up for replay, it was only five minutes long. So cross your fingers that this shit isn't in vain, and you guys are the only 122 people that get to watch this. So now we're deep in Springwood, they're walking around, they're going to end up finding Freddy's house here soon. Cody, would you consider doing reviews of series like Tales from the Crypt or Twilight Zone? Um, not really. Uh, TV reviews for older television don't tend to be very successful. Um, you got guys like um, Sinister Cinema Reviews that does a lot of that. Like he do, He's doing like every single episode of the X-Files, um, I believe, right now. And he's done Are You Afraid of the Dark? Like every single episode he has a video for. And um, they just don't tend to be in high demand. So, I mean, they're cool to talk about, but it's just, it would be a lot of work for not a whole lot of uh, return. Yeah. Let me see. How do you come up with your intros for videos on the spot, <laughs> really? I mean, sometimes, like, like, when I was getting ready to start my Friday the 13th franchise reviews, I knew before I even started that I was going to wear Alice Cooper makeup for my intro for six. Um, there, there's some movies where I'll have an intro in mind before I even consider doing the review just because it's like an inside joke for the movie. But most of them I do right when I get ready to turn the camera on. Uh, like Screen 2, the one that I just did that everybody was a big fan of. I was standing in front of the camera going, fuck, how am I going to intro this? And the idea just kind of popped in my head, so I just ran with it and filmed it and hopefully uh, crossed my fingers that it came together okay. Because I was the person in the costume and I was me. Um, so yeah, most of the time it's just on the fly. It's just an idea I have really quick. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Cody, if you could choose one death in Freddy's Dead as best, what would it be? Probably Carlos's. Um, just because it is a little bit dark as far as, you know, making his head implode and, you know, having the little spider ear thing. Because you have that one, and then you have the video game kill. And John Doe's is ridiculous because it's like a Looney Tunes cartoon. He just drops him out of the sky, and then he does the little, you know, Wiley Coyote thing and pushes the spikes underneath him. So it would be Carlos's death if I had to pick one that is the best. But that's the other problem with this movie. There's hardly any kills in it. You know, you got a movie called Freddy's Dead, The Final, uh, Final Nightmare, and hardly anybody dies in this movie. Almost everybody makes it to the end. Cody Leach of Thanos fought Freddy in the Dream World with all six stones. Who would win? If anybody fights Freddy in the Dream World with anything, they're going to lose. Cody, have you seen Near Dark? Yes, I love Near Dark. Uh, I love your worst movie reviews. They're fucking funny, but can you do the Maniac Cop series, please? It's my favorite. I've heard about those movies. I've never seen them before. I, I may get to them eventually. Um, let me see. Uh, hey, Cody, I love your channel. I got any advice for starting a review channel? Well, now we got Carlos's dream. Walked into a brick wall. Uh, advice for starting a review channel. Find a niche. Don't just do like the every new movie that comes out every weekend because you're not going to be able to stand out. Put the time and the effort in and don't give up because the first year, if you're just a halfway decent channel, is going to be rough. You're not going to feel like you're getting a whole lot of traction and it's going to be frustrating and discouraging. But if you stick with it and you learn from mistakes that you make and you learn what people want to watch, you'll get there. The giant Q-tip. Ooh. Sticks it all the way through his head. Yeah, that, that makes. That's a little bit unnerving, just because I've, 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 you know, cleaning out your ears with a Q-tip. Sometimes you feel like you're about to touch something. Oh, there goes his ear. I don't even understand how Robert Anglin was okay with what they were doing with Freddie here. I'm, I'm sure he had fun with it. 
just feels like for a character that you live and breathe that you would want more respect paid to him. And weird thing is, I've I've actually seen Robert Anglin say that his favorite of the franchise is number five, which is a lot of people's least favorite or second to least favorite. So it's just, it's crazy how different the perspective is from the fans and people making the movies. You're lame, Brandon Carlock. Your uh, comment is lame. If you're going to troll, at least be somewhat original. The deaths sound like methods Torn and Jerry, Tom and Jerry would attack each other with. Yes, exactly. It's cartoonish. Why did he have to be in this movie? Now, if you have somebody that's not invested in this, I could see why they could see some elements of this movie being funny, like when Freddy's jumping around behind him because he can't hear. Like, if you just watch this for the sheer stupidity of it and you're not really a, a Nightmare fan, I could see how you could get into it. But for me, it's it's the opposite because I love it so much. Now you're going to start dropping shit. <sighs> Cody, the Freddy makeup on this one looks silly as it's terrible. New Tremonti album rocks, absolutely. No, dude, you really are lame. <laughs> now you got this whole thing with, uh, now you got this whole spider ear, and every sound gets amplified a billion times. There are still good moments in this film. I, to each their own, I guess. Like I said, I, there's no redeeming qualities for this movie for me. Just stop the stream. Alright. Um, let me see here. Not even the flashback scenes, Cody. No, I mean, is it cool seeing Alice Cooper doing anything? Sure. All right. So long, fuck face. Uh. Now you got your chalkboard shit. So for people in the chat, let me ask you guys a question. We'll get some of your guys' uh your guys' opinions on this. God, it's so bad. Alright, so Freddy's dead. As far as like the worst movies, like the bottom of the barrel in all the slasher franchises, rank the three between uh, Friday, Halloween, and Nightmare. Like, put them in or just type them with a comma. Like, rank your three worst movies of those three franchises. We'll see what everybody's kind of, what the collective opinion seems to be on that. Mine would be, like, going from worst, uh, worst being first, I would put Freddy's Dead, then I would put Jason Takes Manhattan, and then I would put Halloween Resurrection. Best part of this movie is when the credits roll and puts us out of our misery. I agree. All right, so we got um, Seed of Chucky, Matt. Well, yeah, Seed of Chucky, but just try to keep it with those three so we don't have too many answers. Seed, Manhattan, and Nightmare on Elm Street 5. Wow, okay. So you like Nightmare on Elm Street 5 less than this one. Halloween 5, Freddy's Dead, Jason Takes Manhattan. That's probably a popular one. Freddy's Dead, Friday Part 5, Halloween. Yeah, we got a lot of them here. Freddy's dead. Seed of 
Seems to be popular. Freddy's Dead is a third worst to worst. Freddy's Dead. Jason Goes to Hell, Halloween 6. Wow, Halloween 6 is worse than Resurrection. I don't see that often. Freddy's Dead, Jason Goes to Hell, Halloween 5. Same as you said. So not a whole lot of people... Um, well, I'd say about half of you have Freddy's Dead as number one. The other one seems to be Halloween is the most popular. It's like the, the worst of the worst. All right, interesting. None of these movies are bad. Eh. Eh. I mean, I'm a Freddy fanatic, but I would never say that. All right, so now we've got... Now yeah, there's still... I got the crazy bitch singing. Hello from Costa Rica, like your channel, thank you. Uh, can you rank the screams? I will be. I actually just recorded Scream 3, my review, right before I started this. I'm going to be editing that tonight, so look out for that either really late tonight or possibly tomorrow morning, but more than likely sometime tonight I'll get it out. And then I'm going to do Scream 4 tomorrow so I can wrap that shit up quick, do my ranking video, and I can start Halloween uh, next week. So that's my plan. The original Friday the 13th is the worst to me since the lack of logic for the kills that Pamela Voorhees did. Eh, I mean, the movie's still really entertaining for what it is. I get what you're saying, though, because that was one of my negatives. It doesn't make sense that this old, frail woman is doing all this. Can't wait for the big ranking of the big three franchise. Yeah, me either. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hear kids. Don't you knock on my door. So now they're having the whole revelation thing about John Doe thinks he's Freddy's son. That's why he's kept me alive. It's a whole game or something. Scream 3 is bad, like very bad. Scream 3 is not that bad. <laughs> Got that right. Two people right back to back. Um... Can't wait to see the new Halloween. Yeah, me too. Freddy's Dead, Freddy 2, Halloween Resurrection. All right. Uh, let me see. Super chat from Nathan Oswald. Are you going to review Halloween 6 theatrical cut or producer's cut? I'll talk about both of them in the same review. Um, yeah. I'll talk about the theatrical cut probably predominantly, but then I'll talk about the differences in the producer's cut and things that I like and don't like. Um, now we got our Johnny Depp shit. This is your brain. This is... Your brain on drugs. Any questions? People love that line. I just, I don't know. It's cool that Johnny Depp still pays enough respect to this franchise that he would come back to do that, but I wish he would have used his efforts to do something a little better. Um, where the hell's my remote? I don't want to... Got music playing now. That's definitely a big copyright thing. All right. Um, shit, did I, did I answer your super chat question? Yes, I did. Okay, see, I'll do both in the same review. Nightmare 2 is the gayest horror movie ever. It's definitely up there. Jeepers Creepers 2 is a contender as well. Halloween 6 is Paul Rudd, so it's automatically a good film to me. Smiley face. Uh, let's see. I prefer Drum Dumb's edit of H H6. Yes, me too. Freddy's Dead or the Bye Bye Man, which is worse. I keep seeing that. Freddy's Dead is worse than anything that you guys can come up with, I promise. Have you seen the... Uh, let me see... Can you make a 31 movies to watch in October video? I did a movie, uh, a video last year. I think it was top 10 movies to watch on Halloween. That's probably what you, what you were looking for. Would I do a 31 movies? Probably not. Halloween's, or uh, October's going to be busy enough with the big three ranking we're going to do and with all my Halloween stuff. So the top 10 movies to watch on Halloween will have my top 10 movies. So that's probably the, I would point you towards that one. Now we got our Nintendo thing. Again, kind of a, kind of a sign of the times that they're doing this. Um, 
you know, with the power glove thing and showing him in the side of a video game. On paper, I'm sure a lot of these ideas sounded great. Like, let's kill a guy in a video game. Um, let's have Freddy have a child that we didn't know about. Like, you could have a talented writer. Oh, shit. I'm exhausted from the pain. You could have a talented writer and a talented director take those concepts and do something cool with them. Because after Dream Warriors, the franchise kind of devolved into just being death scenes with some story wrapped around it. So I could see how on paper some of these ideas in the writing room might have seemed like they could have went somewhere. But it's definitely the execution where shit went the hill. Is Jason X canon? If so, does it take place after Freddy vs. Jason? I mean, I think you can make an equal argument for both, that it's not canon or that it is and it takes place after Freddy vs. Jason. I mean, there's not really anything in Freddy vs. Jason that prevents Jason X from making sense. Would you rather watch Freddy's Dead or gay porn? Touché! Now we got the whole pogo stick bouncing around like fucking Bugs Bunny. Hmm. A final Elm Street movie about a new drug that causes people to hallucinate about Freddy, yay or nay? I mean, yeah, you could do a storyline like that. Like when you have everybody that's kind of forgotten about Freddy and... Um, then they somebody decides to be an asshole or somebody with that evil mustache twirling villain creates a drug that creates that um, instead of hitting a cell that suppresses dreams it's something that kind of induces dreams. That could be a, a plot element they could use pretty cool. You think there'll ever be a Scream 5? How would you want it to be? I'm sure there will be. I don't know if they're going to remake it or if I think they could do a sequel just fine. Um, it's not going to be anytime soon just because they kind of, it with Wes Craven dying, I think people are still kind of don't want to touch it. How would I want it to be? Good. You know, talk about the current trend in horror whenever it comes out. Let me see. Now we got the Freddy towel snap kill. You forgot the power glove. This is probably a movie I could show my kids and they would like because it's so goofy and off the wall, but I don't know if I want adult versions of my kids that have nostalgic love for Freddy's death. I think I'd rather train them to hate it. Alright, let me see. What is it about Freddy do you think that makes him your favorite slasher villain? Because to me, he's the most evil... In, in some of the movies. He's the most evil and he's the most scary of all of them. You know what I mean? Just the whole plot about his character. A child murderer, possibly molester, that essentially gets corrupted by some kind of demon or hell and becomes this dream demon and comes back and murders even more kids. I mean, just something about that concept is way more evil and fucked up than anything about Michael Myers or anything about Jason. Uh, the kills, you can have way more creative, um, way more creativity in those scenes. Uh, I grew up with the movies, so that's a big part of it too. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the biggest thing about Freddy that appeals to me. And he's got personality. Like, like it, they only have a small window where the personality works, and it's 
all of Dream Warriors and parts of Dream Master. And after that, the personality gets in the way. But when Freddy is on, like Dream Warriors, where he's part scary, part funny, and you know he's got all the personality there, he's kind of the whole package to me. It's also why I love Chucky. I think Chucky's a lot more consistent throughout the franchise, obviously, but um, something about Freddy, just how evil and dark and fucked up and scary, along with having personality, just that mix of everything is what made me a Freddy fanatic. Leatherface is scarier to me than Freddy. I can understand that, because Leatherface is more real than Freddy. Like, there's Leatherfaces out there. I'll get you, Cody, and your little soul, too. Can you come get me before this movie's over so I can get to watch the whole thing? Let me see. There we are again. Now I'm nervous about this fucking video. All right. If you hate it so much, why are you putting yourself through the pain again? Because everybody wanted me to do a commentary on it. I think everybody wanted to hear me bitch about it. Um, what was I? I asked her in a question before it fucked up. Um, best combination of Freddy look and attitudes. Dream Warriors. That's where they, it was the best mix. His best look is the first movie. Uh, even though New, New Nightmare is pretty badass too. But is it, when they got everything kind of in a great mix was uh, Dream Warriors. Now we got the whole parachute scene. Uh, I still think Freddy's Revenge has the creepiest Freddy. I've heard a lot of people say that, and there's there's definitely an argument for that. Uh, I think everything around Freddy makes me not really get into how creepy Freddy is in that one to a degree, as much as everybody else. But he's definitely among the darker portrayals of Freddy in Freddy's Revenge, even if the rest of it's silly. I made a commentary on you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the Chucky ranking thing. I haven't seen it yet. I'll have to check it out. Let me see. I would love to see Jackie Earl Haley come back as Freddy Krueger. I agree. I think he did really good. I think that everything around him was rough as fuck. But um, Jackie Earl Haley wasn't the problem with that movie. Only watch the first one. Are the movies worth getting into? Yeah, I would say so. If you like the first one, definitely watch the next two um, Dream Warriors, the third one, is my favorite. So if nothing else, watch that one. You don't have to watch two to watch Dream Warriors. But um, it's definitely a mixed ride. As much as I love the Nightmare franchise, it's a lot of hills and valleys. I think that the first one is amazing. The second one has got some good things in it, but it's also weird. Dream Warriors is amazing. Dream Master has great things in it, but it's also weird. Dream Child, not very good. Freddy's Dead is horrible. Night New Nightmare is great. Um... More as a Wes Craven, you know, experimentation movie than a Freddy movie, but it's still great. Freddy vs. Jason is awesome, and then the remake has some good things in it, but overall it's kind of a failure. I don't hate this movie as much as the last episode of Dexter. Yeah, that's a rough one. You're watching this again, damn, you must be a masochist. I'd rather drink a vanilla shake with broken glass in it than watch it again. Pretty much, yeah. This will be probably the last time I ever watch this movie. By choice. I said that when I did my review, but of course. My subscribers, my spoiled brats, wanted me to watch it. 
Cody, do you find Nightmare 1 Freddy or Freddy's Revenge Freddy scarier? Nightmare 1. Just because there's still mystery to him. He's not as much in your face and you know as he is in Freddy's Revenge. Freddy's Revenge breaks a lot of the rules. I think Freddy's, uh, Freddy uh, in Nightmare 1 is a lot more evil and a lot more uh, scary for sure. How old were you when you watched your first Freddy movie and which one was it? I do not remember which one it was. I only remember that Child's Play 3 was the first horror movie I ever watched. I don't remember if it was the first Nightmare or the third or the fourth. That uh, It was one of those three that I watched first. Um, but I was like four years old. Thanks for reading the comments, bro. No problem, man. If it was a movie I liked more, I'd have a lot more to say. But this one's rough. This is just kind of me hanging out with you guys really and just kind of talking about how much I hate this movie off and on so uh let me see New Nightmare is my favorite yeah that's an interesting pick I really like that movie but I don't I, I don't rewatch it hardly at all um just because it's not the most it's not the best Freddy movie. Like, Freddy is not really... It's, it's more about Wes Craven's interesting ideas than it is about Freddy. So when I watch it as a Freddy movie, it's a little underwhelming, even though the movie itself is really good. But when I want to watch a Freddy movie, that's one of the last ones I pick. Favorite kill in the Freddy remake, guys? Um, hmm. I would say... Just because of the scene following it, whenever he stabs the one kid through the chest, and then he's hanging upside down, and he's like, we got six more minutes to play. That whole scene is probably my favorite. Do you think there is more nostalgia towards horror movies like Freddy, etc., more so of the greatness of them, or how bad horror movie series tend to be now? Well, I don't think horror movie series are really bad now. I think there's a lot of great in horror right now. Um, there's definitely shit that gets put out that they know is shit. But, uh, like, the Bye Bye Man. But um, it's nostalgic because this is the movies that people grew up with. So these movies, the, even the bad ones, they didn't feel as bad back then as they do if you watch them now. But there's certainly a lot of nostalgia. Katie Cassidy should have been Nancy in the remake instead of Rooney Mara. 100,000% agree. Hmm. Do you think Freddy's Revenge is better than Freddy's Dead? Freddy's Revenge is ten times the movie of Freddy's Dead. Despite all its flaws. Johnny Depp's kill in the first movie remains my favorite horror movie death of all time. Favorite Freddy kill. It's between Welcome to Primetime, Bitch, and the motorcycle kill from Dream Child because the practical effects on that one is pretty fucking gnarly. What is the most annoying thing for you in a franchise like Rule Breaking and etc.? Rule Breaking is certainly up there. That's one of the biggest problems I have with Freddy's Revenge is the whole thing about him coming out into the real world. Um, one of the most annoying things is continuity. You know, like Friday the 13th doesn't give a fuck about continuity. Um, there's elements, uh, if I thought hard, there's probably some continuity errors in Nightmare. There's certainly a few in Halloween, but um, continuity is the biggest thing. So if you're going to have a franchise, if you're going to respect what came before it, you can't fuck up what was already done. God, this feels like I've been doing this for two hours. Guys, this movie feels so long to me. <laughs> now we got more dream sequences of Robert Anglin chasing around the chicken pigtails. And the mom comes out and she's screaming. Comes out of the basement.
15 dislikes, what the shit? Yep, I know. I've already had a couple trolls CP, and I'm sure that when, whenever you do a live video, you're always going to get dislikes, because people are just going to come in, they're going to click the dislike button and fucking leave. But who cares? Name your top five horror franchises in order. Ugh. Uh, I can't do that on the top of my head. Nightmare and then Child's Play would be number two. Would be the top two. Number three. All right, so Nightmare, Child's Play, Halloween, Friday the... Uh, no, no, no. Scratch that. Nightmare, Child's Play, Phantasm, Halloween, Friday the 13th. Oh, did they expect to actually see it on the screen? Maybe, probably. But I've also gotten a lot of hate so far from some uh, some Freddy's Dead purists that are like, "Whatever, bro. You're just fucking hating on this thing. Stop watching it, then." Fucking, you lame, man. Fucking lame. I remember renting this one a lot from Blockbuster when I was a kid. I was such a big Freddy fan and a kid, I didn't know any better. <laughs> Young and dumb, huh? We all use that excuse. Phantasm Ravager or Freddy's Dead? Again, I'm telling you, there is no movie you can put on here against Freddy's Dead that I will say Freddy's Dead is a little better. I will watch Phantasm Ravager before I'll watch this. I, don't, I think you guys are underestimating my hate for this movie. Cody, did you ever like the Critters films? I have never even seen them. I've, I remember seeing Critters 3 with Leonardo DiCaprio on like HBO or some shit like that when I was a kid, but I remember nothing about it. Um, Brian Lomax just unsubscribed to me for saying that. But uh, I, there's a Scream Factory box set of it coming out, and I'm going to buy it so I can watch them. And if I like them, I might review that franchise as well. Cody, what's the best horror movie in your opinion? Uh, the Thing. Either The Thing or The Lost Boys are my favorite. Every town has an Elm Street. Ah! <laughs> this doesn't even have the Nightmare on Elm Street music. I mean, what the fuck? At least give us that. At least kind of make the smooth transition a little bit. Freddy's Dead seems bad, but I'd probably watch it over Ravager. I hated Ravager so much. I mean, so did I. Uh, let me see. Do you have a favorite horror TV show? Um, Supernatural. No, I don't watch anime. I keep seeing that question. They should re-release some of the nightmares out in theaters around Halloween. I feel like it would be really cool to get the fans out there together. I would love that. You always see the original Halloween that gets released in theaters. Um, but I wish there was some theaters out there, a theater chain that would do, like, on that October. Every week they would have, like, Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street. Like, they have these flashback cinemas, but it's always random-ass movies. And once in a great while you might get, you'll either get Halloween or you'll get Aliens in October. Which are great. But change it up. Bates Motel all the way. You ever watch that one? Yeah, Bates Motel was great. Hannibal was great. If I remember correctly, too, I think this girl who plays the blonde had a lot of trouble with this sequence about the father molestation or something because I think she was actually molested. I could be wrong. Maybe I just heard that somewhere. But that would explain why when you see her in the interviews, she's like fucking gothic and has like a little love slave or whatever <laughs> underneath her. So, not to make a joke with that, it's pretty fucked up that happened, but... They should re-release Friday the 13th Part 3 in 3D. That would be cool. You like the Wrong Turn franchise. I like the first one. I haven't seen most of the others. I don't think I'll like them because I didn't care for two.
Now we got the blonde chick whooping his ass. You think if the new Halloween is good, people will bring back old slasher villains? Yes, that's what I'm banking on. I'm banking on it being good, and then Friday the 13th, whenever the rights issues get worked out, we'll get a new one of that, and we'll get a Nightmare on Elm Street probably even sooner. I hate Freddy's makeup in 6. Yeah, it's terrible. It's really bad. Did you see the Freddy Nightmares series? I haven't. I've been curious to watch the episode that shows his backstory, like where he was caught and went to court, but I haven't really ever had the interest to go back and watch an old Nightmare on Elm Street TV series. I just I don't think it would be very good. Hello. Hello. Probably got about 15 minutes left. Monster. They are in the bedroom. What's Shane do? Shane is sleeping. <laughs> Shane has been sleeping for about two hours. <laughs> oh. Why? I don't know. They wore his ass out, I guess. I guess so. Another <clears throat> little thing going. It's going fine. Hello, camera's everybody. been camera's been fucking up a little bit here and there with YouTube, but it's for whatever reason it keeps happening when I do mobile live. Oh. Hey Cody, ever seen the Human Centipede movies? I've seen pieces of the first movie. I have no desire to ever go back and finish it, and I have no desire to watch the other two. Now we got a callback to the first movie where he chops his finger off and the green ooze comes out, only now it's played for laughs, and you got Gatorade shooting out. Have you ever watched Stranger Things? Absolutely. I have a review for both seasons. The wife joins the stream. <laughs> she would have nothing to say about Freddy's dead. I can promise you that. <laughs> One day I will pull her in and we'll do a stream together though on a movie that she's seen. Does your wife like horror movies too? She... Yes or no? She's not a fanatic by any means. Um, she's enjoyed some of the movies that, I, like, she enjoyed, like, Sleepaway Camp that I made her watch. Um, she's got a couple that she likes, but she's not, like, a fanatic. She can kind of take it or leave it. But I'm glad that she's not one that, like, hates it or can't handle it, because I don't think I could live. Never watch a Serbian film. Yeah, I have no interest in ever watching that. Uh, did you ever think there could be a woman, Freddy? No. You know, here's my whole thing with the whole gender swap thing, which tends to be kind of a, a, a trend nowadays. Like, they want a female James Bond and shit like that. Look, I'm all for having more female roles or having more, you know, minorities that get big roles and stuff like that. But don't change a fundamental piece of a character to fit that social thing, that social checkbox thing. If you're going to make a serial killer that's a woman, then make a new one. Or you could do redo Misery or something where there's actually a woman. Don't make, don't force James Bond to be a woman. Don't force Freddy to be a woman. You know, there's, you can have a black James Bond. Like, I know people were talking about that one with Idris Elba. Because that doesn't change who James Bond is, whether he's white or black or Hispanic. But you can't have a female James Bond. And you can't have a female Freddy. We do need, like, a, a big female, like, horror icon, though, because they're all male. You got Jason, you got Michael, you got Freddy, Chucky. Tiffany is close, or at least she was close until C to Chucky kind of fucked it up. All right, now we're entering into our 3D third act finale horse shit.
God. She even got her little 3D glasses and stuff because they wanted to tell the people in the theater when to put your 3D glasses on. Just, just hold them the majority of the movie and then throw them out at the end to see these terrible effects. And this is the thing that pisses me off, too, is the whole revelation that they have. Like, I know how we can finally destroy Freddy. We can go into the dream world. I can pull him into the real world, and we can kill him there. Really? Because we have killed him that way previously in this franchise, and it didn't kill him. So, well, what's different this time? Lazy. Show the logo. <laughs> Have a coconut smile. Screen three review dropping later tonight. Are you going to review Halloween one or two again or jump to Halloween three? I'm going to review both the first two again because when I did them before, I was very early on. They were like five minute reviews. So my, my style and my approach has changed. So I want to redo those and give them the the respect that they deserve. Uh, I'd say Angela is a horror icon. Yeah, I mean, arguably. Are you going to watch Seed of Chucky next? No. I'm not going to make a let's watch the movies I hate franchise thing with a, or a series with the commentary. This was just... This was kind of a, a gift to all of you that have been asking me to do this movie because you know I hate it so much. So I, I really don't want to do Seed of Chucky and Jeepers Creepers 3 and all these other movies. So I like to do commentaries on movies that I enjoy. And I'm sure if you see me now, I'm, I'm running out of things to talk about. I'm just kind of just experiencing this and hanging out with you guys. So it's more of a Q&A than a commentary, really. But if I when I do movies that I enjoy, like when I did Child's Play 2 and I did Dream Warriors, it's, just, it's way more enjoyable for me. So, I'm enduring the pain for all you fuckers this time, but don't ask me to do it again. Please, please. Mm. If you were having a nightmare, how would you want Freddy to try to kill you? I wouldn't. <laughs> I'd like to be the guy that wakes the fuck up and makes it to the sequel. How come nothing ever came of Freddy after a new nightmare? Freddy vs. Jason and the remake aside. Well, I mean, the Freddy vs. Jason and the remake happened. I don't... How come we never got anything after, like, the, like the Freddy version of... Or the version of Freddy we got in New Nightmare? Because that wasn't Freddy. That was technically a, a, a demon that just took the personification of Freddy. Um, how come we didn't get another, like, just straight-up Nightmare on Elm Street movie? Because Robert Anglin was kind of done with it. He did Friday, Freddy vs. Jason as kind of like a victory lap and a favorite of the fans, I think. Um, but uh, wasn't really anywhere else to go, especially in the time period. And then the remake happened because of the remake craze. So. Would you like a Nightmare on Elm Street game like the Friday the 13th one? I didn't really care for the Friday the 13th game. It was cool for fans, but no. I would. If, I, if they came out with a Nightmare on Elm Street game like that, I would probably play it for a couple of days and I would get bored with it. Now we got all our flashback sequences with Freddy. Cutting himself. Here comes Alice Cooper. Oh, but it's back. And he's the man behind the mask. And I just reviewed Prince of Darkness, too, so that's very interesting timing. Time to take your medicine, boy. I love Alice Cooper. That was my first concert. Alice Cooper, The Brutal Planet Tour, 2000. Don't make me have to donate money to have you notice me. I'm here, motherfucker. Well, uh, unless you, uh, as much shit as you give me for my typing errors, you could at least miss, you can at least spell fucker correctly, Lindsay. And the, there, I, I noticed you. You stuck out like a sore thumb. 
It's never a stream until I get verbally accosted by Mother Mayhem. All these fucking 3D fish. Ugh! I'm getting mad again, people. I'm getting fucking mad. It's where he gets burned, and then you got these fucking 3D tuna that go into him and make him Freddy that we know and love till this fucking movie. Cody, do you watch football? No, I hate football. Uh, let me see. My favorite... 3D fish is unnecessary. Yeah, it's bad. Um, wouldn't it be great if there was a movie where Freddy, Chucky, and Pennywise the Clown teamed up? I love those guys. These are all fan fiction ideas, guys, but the, as far as an actual functioning movie, that would never work. Those are like YouTube videos that somebody would make with their own money for like, you know, a thousand bucks. Or like a comic book or something like that. Would you be up for a Nightmare prequel if Robert Englund came back to be Freddy? Absolutely. I am not a prequel guy whatsoever. I think it kind of, it, it there, there's a lot of problems you run into. Um... There's a lot of problems you run into with prequels. You know, you know where they're going to end up. Sometimes they ruin the mystique of the character. But we know Freddy's backstory. So I think if they did, like, a Seven-style movie with Freddy being the killer, like, obviously we would know the identity of the killer, so they can't make the crux of the movie being a reveal, but make, like, a investigation and maybe show Freddy doing his thing at the same time. And then the movie, you know, you can go through the whole court process, and then the movie ends with him getting torched. I've always thought that would be a cool idea. And yes, I would love it if Robert Anglin came back. It won't post my comments if I swear. Stupid YouTube, they're on to me. <laughs> People have been cussing me out this whole stream. You should be able to get away with it too. I've been called lame. Now she's giving Freddy a fucking bear hug from hell. Did you see Searching? No, I was curious about it, but I haven't seen it yet. If Freddy fought another horror movie icon besides Jason, who do you think would work best? Michael. Well, I want to say Michael, but they're already doing their own thing with that. If logistically they could find a way to make it work and not be stupid, Freddy versus Chucky would be fucking hilarious because they're both... You know, they're the, the big mouths of the horror genre. So just seeing, just envisioning the one-liners of Freddy to Chucky and Chucky to Freddy is gold to me. But I don't know if you could make that movie work and have it be taken seriously. Maybe Hellraiser. Freddy versus Hellraiser or something like that. Possibly, but I don't think... It, it, we're lucky we got the movie we got with Freddy versus Jason. And some people don't even like it. I love it. But, you know, I, I don't think that you're ever going to find another... We're ever going to get another versus movie. I cannot believe you're doing this right now because of what I just filmed. Our friendship, rocky as it might be, will be over. Please do not tell me you're doing in defense of Freddy's Dead. Please tell me you drew the line at Jaws the Revenge. Tell me, Lindsay. Talk to me. <laughs> What do you think about Freddy vs. Pinhead? Yeah, I mean, that one could work visually. I could see a lot of things being done with that. If you want to see more live streaming, say me. Oh, okay. If you, I was confused. Yeah, like I said, guys, I'm, I'm trying to do this every other, every two weeks or so. Last the last weekend when it was time for this, my live thing was fucking up. But I've been doing them pretty consistently. So I'm going to try every other weekend on a Friday or a Saturday. Today's a weird day because I have a four-day weekend. Um, to do a commentary for something because I enjoy them. Next will be the Lost Boys. After that, um, it'll be in Halloween. So I'll probably end up doing a Halloween movie. Halloween season of the witch, most likely, uh, but maybe something else. Lindsay did do one. Hell yeah. Sorry, Cody. I don't even have... Oh, my phone. I'm looking for my phone. Dumbass. It's right in front of me. Please tell... 
Lindsay, don't tell me you actually did that. Tell me that there's a thumbnail that says in defense of Freddy's dead. And when I open it up, it just says, fuck you, Cody Leach. And that's the whole video. That would be gold. And I would forgive you for that. I promise nothing, but Holly would like me. So you need to forgive and forget. <laughs> Holly would like you because she likes people that tell me to fuck off. Defeating Freddy with a headbutt. Terrible, guys. <laughs> oh, what did you think about the boy? I didn't like it. Especially the twist at the end. I didn't like it at all. Now she just bit his nose. How far in the movie are you up to? We're at the end. We got maybe five minutes left. Somebody asked a question that you were probably about to ask me. <laughs> How much fucking longer? Yes, exactly. Hmm. Move your fat foot out of the way. The fuck you talking about fat foot? <laughs> Don't act like this ain't your favorite Freddy movie. I hear you saying you love it so much all the time. Bitch, please. This Freddy's my favorite. Mm-hmm. Clearly. That's why I watch it so often. This one with the fucking floating fish heads? Yes. Oh, God, yeah. just hearing this movie is pissing me off, LOL. <laughs> he loves why it. of all movies Freddy's dead? Yeah, I know. I had to give the people what they wanted, guys. I had no desire to ever revisit this fucking thing. If I have my way, this will be it. This is my swan song with Freddy's Dead. Exposed by wifey. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the other thing, too. I mean, just visually and everything, the deaths in both Freddy or in... in Dream Master and Dream Child, despite those movies' flaws, is way more of a fitting final death than this shit. Mother Mayhem says, hello, Holly. Hello. Has Jack made an appearance in your video yet? I want to see her pretty face. Who says that? Mother Mayhem. Gross, now I've got a pimple. It's not happening today. Or Cody? <laughs> little bitch, Cody. Alright, you're safe. <laughs> you're a fucking whore. Tell me baby. this movie is my fucking favorite. Exposed. Killed him with TNT. Looney Tunes, people. Somebody needs to make a video where they recut Freddy's Dead to like Looney Tunes sounds and Looney Tunes music. That would be entertaining. At least make it what it is. You do it. No. I'm not putting no more work into this fucking movie. This is it. What's that tattoo on your arm? This is a blackbird from... Alter Bridge album and my grandmother's initials. And go in there with them. Comment if you think Cody should buy me this twelve hundred dollar golf cart. What the fuck you need a golf cart for? I ain't even got a garage. I don't want it. Help me no. out, people. No. And that's it. The movie's fucking over. Yes. Thank you so much. All right. I'll take about maybe. She says hottie. So see, she only saw <laughs> she only saw about a quarter of your face. So it tells you. All right. So me after work. So six thirty-five. So I'll answer about five ten minutes of questions, guys, and then I got to get my kids together because I can already hear my two-year-old losing patience with being in her crib. So oh, she's out in the crib now. Oh, and she hasn't come out here yet. That's. I locked the door. Oh. <laughs> no. 
Parenting 101, locked doors and bars. <laughs> All right. I'm free. No more Freddy's dead. All right, guys, rattle off some shit in the next five to ten minutes, and I'll answer some questions. It can be about anything. I didn't really stick to the Freddy template for this one, but I tried to kind of pick through. Someone said you need to meet I'll donate to buy the golf cart. There you go. Donate all, what is it, $1,500? Uh, it's 1200 Donate $1,500, and I'll take the 300 <laughs> <laughs> Do it, Cody. She needs it. I'm sure she does. Yeah. I like these people. That's Mother Mayhem. Oh, hey, I like her now. Yeah. She tells me fuck you on like every stream, so I said you'd probably be a fan of her just for that reason alone. I said you But like does she it. think you're funny? That's the real test. Probably not. Well, I love her. Go in a rant so I can film it. <laughs> What's better? What's better? Scream three or child's play three? Child's play three is awesome. Scream three is Ooh. not very good. Uh Which Night of the Living Dead movie is your favorite? I've only, let's see, Night of the Living Dead. Night of the Living Dead or Return of the Living Dead? Because Night of the Living Dead is just one movie. What's your favorite Freddy one-liner? Freddy one-liner? Welcome to primetime, bitch. I mean, that's kind of the, the obvious choice. Someone said, can we see your wife? Sorry, guys, he doesn't have a wife. I'm just a girlfriend. Yeah. Future wife, look at that. <laughs> 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 Cody, I look terrible right now. I love you at your worst. Cody, to be honest, those fish look horrible. Yes, they do. Absolutely. Uh, what's so bad about Freddy's Dead? There is your rant. Everything's... Okay, so you want to fucking rant? Okay, everything wrong with this fucking movie in a rant. Let's see. The direction is horrible, the music is horrible, except for the Goo Goo Dolls song that everybody says is the redeeming quality, but you can go on fucking YouTube and watch the, the Goo Goo Dolls video and save yourself the pain of this. Freddy's not fucking Freddy, he's a goddamn Looney Tunes character that's got a Christmas sweater and a glove that they put in here and call him Freddy. You got the worst actors in the entire franchise and some of the worst acting you've seen in any of these franchises of the big three. You have this stupid ass story thrown in for the sake of not being able to write anything better about, oh, this child that we never knew that Freddy had, which could have been something interesting, but they do it in the dumbest fucking way possible because they focus it on the worst character in this movie and the worst actor in this movie and pull some stupid ass switcheroo, even though they tell us in multiple dream sequences that his fucking child is a daughter. So it's not even a surprise. The death scenes are stupid. They're a sign of the times. They don't age very well. And you have a movie called Freddy's Dead the Final Nightmare, which doesn't even have a fitting death for Freddy. And it doesn't have anything as far as, like, a finality feeling to it to make it feel like this movie that's going to culminate the franchise. Because you have, like, eight characters and two of them get killed. So, there's a mini rant for you. Let's read some of the other stuff on here. Okay, you pick the questions, I'll answer them. Ooh, Cody, you better buy a ring soon. That wasn't a question, that was a statement, and you better listen to your fans. Who said that? I don't know. You <laughs> someone are blocked. asked <laughs> someone asked what my favorite horror movie was, and I don't really think I have one. I like the wrong turn films just because of how All of them? Not all of them. Just I don't the know first which one. one. The first how many one? are there? There's I don't like know. seven of them. Those fucking freaks are in the woods all fucked up. I like them. I like weird shit. Okay, so she, weird shit. That's her favorite. <laughs> Oh, what else are they saying? I told you to pick the questions. Oh, dear fucking God. Um, yes, he's played Walking Dead video games. Yeah, I saw that question a hundred times. I, I was trying to find Freddy topics. But yes, I've played the Walking Dead video games. Uh, I have the final season or whatever already uh, bought. I'm just going to wait till two or three of the chapters are done so I can start playing it. I don't have to wait weeks. Have you played Mortal Kombat with... Freddy, Jason, Leatherface, Alien, and Predator in it? Yeah, I did. Have you seen Slenderman? No. No one that should see it. It's a shit-ass movie. No, I didn't see it. Um, why the hell do you like Rob Zombie's Halloween 2? It's great. Why in the hell do you like Rob Zombie's Halloween 2? Well, you'll find out in my review, but I think that it's, it's the most ballsy and as I was saying, so uh, Rob Zombie Halloween 2, so it's the most ballsy and most unique sequel in the entire franchise. I think that it has the emotional scene where Lori finally finds out that she is Michael's sister that we never got in the Jamie Lee Curtis incarnation of that character. 
I think that Brad Dorff gives one of the best performances in the entire franchise in that movie. I think that Daniel Harris is very good. I like the brutality of it. And it doesn't have nearly as much of that white trash horse shit um, right that uh, Rob Zombie had in the first movie. So that's a preview of where my review is going. Someone says, have you kept up with Better Call Saul? Yes, I have. We haven't watched anything from the... Well, we started watching the first episode of this season, but we both fell asleep, so we're going to restart it eventually. I but, don't think I fell asleep. Okay, I, I, I fell watched asleep. a lot of them without him. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, I am that? caught up to this season. She is caught up to whatever episode she decided to betray me on. Here's this one. He's the one that said, ooh, better buy a ring. White Tim. All right. Hey. Best horror remake. Um, It's between Texas. Well, the best horror remake is The Thing. That's always my answer. But if you're going more modern, it's between Evil Dead and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Someone says, have you ever ranked the Freddy deaths and I missed it? No, have not. I might do that eventually. I ranked the Freddy movies. Um, I ranked the Jason movies. I ranked the Jason portrayals. Um, I'll probably do the same thing for Michael. I'll do the Michael movies and I'll do the Michael portrayals. Um, the kills, that's something that maybe eventually, but it's not that I'm real passionate about doing that. I don't know that. what this is. GGD used to play in my uncle's garage before they were famous. Goo Goo Dolls. Okay. Someone says, shut up, Mother Mayhem. That's not very nice. Uh, I don't know what that means. I don't know what Super Spencer or Thanos. I know Thanos. He's from the Avenger people. Super Spencer. I think that's the character from the fifth movie where he's the fucking comic book character or whatever. Uh, opinion on Hereditary. Click this blue. Well, I scrolled up a ways because I missed I a bunch of them and they were about me, so I needed to read them. <laughs> of course. Uh, let me see. Ray Donovan is a good show. I agree. I don't know if there was a question about that earlier. Ring but... or the Grudge. Never saw The Grudge, never had an interest in it. The Ring is just okay. So I guess I'll have to go to the, the Ring because I've never seen The Grudge. Have you got an idea of your own slasher movie? If so, could you elaborate? It's kind of like the one you did. Yeah, I did a video on it. If you look uh, on my channel for Pitch Wars, episode two is me and CP from Will I Like It Reviews. We both pitch our own slasher movies. So you can go check out my idea for that. It's, it's a lot easier than me trying to say it again here. Favorite horror movie soundtrack? The Trick or Treat soundtrack from it's either 86 or 87, I think. Um, my dad will probably cuss me out. Everybody like eighty two or some shit. But um, it's uh the movie the the metal horror movie yeah. Trick or Treat with uh, Sammy Kerr. And what it's are a some Fastwave soundtrack? What are some of the videos you have planned for this Halloween? Um, the Halloween reviews, obviously. Um, I'm gonna do Hellfest. Trick or Treat, the movie that I just is talked about. Is it does Hellfest come out in October? I'll I do that one so. as well. Any horror movies that come out in October plus Halloween, I'm gonna do Trick or Treat. Um, I'll probably try to do both the metal horror movie and the anthology movie. Um, and I'm going to be doing the ranking the big three video with everybody in Scream Stream, which is or on our own channels where we rank all the movies from Freddy, Jason, and Michael in one big list. Uh, favorite kill in horror history? Oh, fuck. I can't answer that one right now. I all right. To Too many people it. are commenting. What's your favorite Saw movie? Oh, God. The second one. Um, will there be a Halloween stream three? Yes. Yeah, Halloween stream three. I think we were talking about I'm, it. It's either going to be the week or two weeks after the new movie comes out. So right before Halloween. I don't know what this worst remake of the big three. I don't know what that is. The Freddy remake. All right. If you've seen Sleepaway Camp, what do y'all think of the twist ending? You watched that with me. Yes, yeah, with the girl with the dick, right? Yeah. Yeah, fucking weird. <laughs> um, have there you, you seen Black Sheep? With Chris Farley? Yeah, I don't remember much about it. I was a, always a Tommy Boy guy. Looking forward to Venom? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Um, which Halloween sequel is better? Halloween 6 or 4? I like 6 more myself because it's got more style. It's a little more brutal, but 4 is a better written movie. 6 has a lot more problems, but I'll watch 6 before I watch 4. Angel says, what movies are you going to see? The Nun, Predator, Halloween, all, all three. three. <laughs> <laughs> um, In that order. Um, the I think. Predator or Halloween 2018, what are you most excited for? Probably Halloween. Halloween. Um, I think Stephen King's Cujo deserves a remake. It does. Logan Paul versus... No one cares about fucking Logan Paul. No, I didn't watch that. Which Halloween movie you thought was the worst? Five. Someone said The Nun will be great. Yep, I'm sure Hopefully. it will be. Arrow video... Oh, or Scream Factory. Scream Factory. I'm a whore for those posters. Someone said watch Seed. Or, seed of Chucky. Or no! Stop it! 
I'm really cool. looking forward to seeing the new Halloween. All right, what's your opinion on Tom Lee Jarvis and Never Hike Alone? It was very cool. It legitimized it a lot, and it was a very nice surprise for the fans. All right, someone says Annabelle or the Nun. Oh, I haven't, haven't seen the seen Nun the yet, nun. so I don't know. What I, the characters, the Nun. Yeah. This is pure commentary gold. Can Cody do commentaries on bad horror movies? That's what this just, just was, right? I don't want to do bad. Don't Please don't make me do it again. Let me do at least three or four more good Someone's movies. asking Lindsay a lot of questions, although this is for you to answer, really. But all right. Mother Mayhem, are you a James Bond fan? Yes, Mother Mayhem is a James Bond fan. I'll all answer right. that for her. A Christie remake would be dope also. I think they did one, did they? No, no. they haven't done one. They're, they're, I think oh, they were talking was, about doing oh, that one. That says Christine. I'm sorry. Apparently I can't read. So uh, Yeah, I remember I hearing that they were... Now that we had It, we're going to see a lot of Stephen King remakes. What is this? Are you at all interested in the new Critters Blu-ray box set coming soon? Yes, because I've never seen most of them. I've, I've seen three, but I remember nothing about it, so I'm going to buy them and watch them. Someone says, do you play Super Smash Brothers? I've seen this question like eight times, so I'm assuming it's the same person. Yes, I've played them before. I'm not a gigantic fan. Favorite Conjuring film? First one. Hey, Cody, have you seen The Ritual? No. Will you ever see the original book? Review The Original Exorcist? I'm sure I will okay. eventually. Is this? I seem to be the only one Rapid fire. who hated Cult of Chucky. Pet no, Cemetery. you're not the only one. I hated it too. Pet Cemetery 2019 will be great. I hope so. Someone just asked if we would like the Christine thing. You just said it would be cool. And we're back. Okay, what time is it? 6 47. Yeah. Should, okay. they, should they do a remake for The Shining? Eventually, but not anytime soon. Reason to remake it right now. Shawshank or Forrest Gump? Forrest Gump. Ugh. Forrest fucking Gump. Fuck. If you say different, I'm going to punch you right in the throat. Shawshank. <laughs> <laughs> First off, you a bitch. Um, best practical effects that's not in the thing. Permission to use you guys for a video. Permission granted. What the fuck? I didn't give my permission. Permission granted. Permission granted. Yeah, that's not me at all. Permission granted, motherfucker, <laughs> cocksucker. You're not funny. Shut up. You're not really. Did you answer this? Best practical effects that's not in the thing? There's really good one. There's really good practical effects in uh, The Fly. I'll say The Fly. Kevin Bacon for Freddy Krueger? No. I could see it, but he's too old. I did a whole video on it. Um, what's this one? Uh, I saw something earlier. Oh my god, they're coming in so fast. All right, well then. Um, what did you think of Sinister? I liked Sinister a lot, but the trailer really ruined the movie for me because I, I saw basically the whole movie in the trailer. That That is actually the movie that made me stop watching a lot of trailers, but I still enjoy it. I'll answer this one. His favorite seasons of Dexter is the very last one. He said it's his absolute favorite. Everyone go out and watch it now. <laughs> it's between the first season and the fourth season. Opinions on the ginger dead man? Never seen it. Okay. Chucky versus Annabelle. Chucky. Training day or true, true romance? True romance. That's probably in my top five of all time. What are your opinions on Shaun of the Dead? That is the one movie that everybody universally loves that I have given probably three chances and I just don't get into it. The British humor, for whatever reason, just doesn't land for me. I don't hate the movie, but... People put it in like their favorites of all time, favorite zombie movies of all time, favorite fucking horror comedies of all time. I just don't care much for it. Um, someone said, which is worse, Jason takes Manhattan or the final nightmare? Freddy's dead. Freddy's dead versus anything. Freddy's dead's gonna win. Someone said, Robert England will always be the one and only Freddy. I disagree, but I do love Robert England. Someone wants to know when your birthday is. January 12th. Tim Curry or Bill Scarzard? Tim Curry. Oh my God, I can't believe I said his name right. That's Pennywise, right? Yes. <laughs> hey, Damn, Jack, what are you doing? I fucking know this shit. All Damn. right, ever watch Thanks Killing? That's a turkey movie. It's pretty weird. I've never seen it. All right, well, I have. Look at me. Whoa. I'm start my own fucking thing. How did you meet Drum Dums? First, uh, like I commented on his Rings review, the third Ring movie. And uh, disagreed or agreed with pretty much everything he said, but I was talking with him about the movie and said, "Hey, check out my review." He checked out mine, and then he gave me a shout out. Another video. The rest is history. Which is better, Child's Play Two, Texas Chainsaw Remake, two thousand three, 
Friday the 13th of 2009 or Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors or Halloween. Jesus Christ. Is that enough Halloween is the best movie of all of those. Dream Warriors is my favorite of all of those. Someone said, please review Saving Private Ryan. Sorry that I'm not saying your guys' names. I'm just, I don't want to fucking lean into the screen, so. Eventually, maybe. Um, have you ever seen the house? Series. I've seen the first one. I have the box set which has two in it as well. I never knew there was a three and a four until I bought the box set. Al and it doesn't have three and four for some reason. Al Pacino or Robert De Niro? De Niro. Great channel. The best of the future. I don't, okay, thanks. Thank um, you. Will you ever review The Last House on the left? Uh, maybe. That's, that's kind of a, a rough one. Holly is the best name ever. Thanks, Holly. That's <laughs> pretty great. Did you ever watch Pumpkinhead? Yes. Yes, I love Pumpkinhead. Someone said the new Pennywise is way better than the old Pennywise. Okay. It's arguable. Should There's take elements. notes from Jason and Jason Goes to Hell the final Friday. What's your favorite animal? A wolf. Like this one. <laughs> Have you ever seen any of the creep show movies? Which ones? I've never and seen were them. they your favorite thing? Okay, nope. Holly, don't skip me, girl. Okay, you skipped Sorry, your question. I didn't read. Where's I don't even oh I don't know where it's at. Go back up. Oh Lord Jesus, help me now. Ow. This is a ways up. Um You'll like, we'll it, like I it, I promise. promise. Okay. I guarantee we will. Like what? Whatever she's gonna do with oh, it, dear I don't know. She's probably gonna put a dick in my face or something like that. <laughs> It's gonna, she's gonna somehow make. I guarantee you, to you'll me. like it. <laughs> Have you ever seen Komodo? Yes. All right, man. Which is worse, Alien? Oh, this is that same person. Which is worse, Alien Three: Seed of Chucky, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Freddy's dead. Did I've said. Say that. Anything versus Freddy's dead. Freddy's dead is the worst. Lethal Weapon or Bad Boys? Bad Boys for me. Lethal Weapon. Um. How would you want a Friday the Thirteenth Night, two thousand nine sequel to play out? Um, go back to camp, have a camp reopen, and have Jason brought to life somehow by some kid that gets bullied. Uh, I pitched this, actually, on Killer Flicks. A kid that gets bullied by the people at the camp, kind of like Sleepaway Camp. He brings back Jason somehow. Jason's like this, this legend or curse around Camp Crystal Lake. Jason ends up coming back, starts slaughtering people. The kid has to be the one to put him back in the ground. And at the end of the movie, they reveal that the kid is Tommy Jarvis. All right, I think this is how this works. I need to say this. Um, someone said, I would rather staple my nuts than see this movie. I agree, and thank All you right. for the super chat. Check it out. What do you think of Dead Silence? I don't know if I already I like Dead that. Silence a lot. It's a very underrated movie. Someone said, our dog is cute. Thanks, we know. Um, can you review the scary movie franchise? Uh, I love the first two. I hate the other ones. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do some of that stuff, too. Well, yeah. I guess not reviewing it. You, as long as you're not, like, that shit's not playing when the kids are in here. I don't care. I'm sure it is when I'm not home anyway. So. They've seen the first two numerous yeah. times. I like Freddy's Dead. Thought it was funny. What's your favorite Stephen King adaptation? Pet Cemetery. The Walking Dead favorite, Dale or Shane? Shane, Shane was my favorite character. I don't remember which one Dale is. Dale is the one, the, the older guy that always wore the little fishing hat, and then uh, he loved Andrea to death, and Andrea didn't want nothing to do with him, and then he got his ass killed. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, favorite Rob Zombie song? Dragula. What do you think about Zombieland? I love Zombieland. Uh, Showgirls or Friday, Freddy's Dead? I said Friday. <laughs> Any more or Freddy's Dead questions, just skip them. Freddy's Dead. <laughs> seed of Chucky or Cult of Chucky? Cult of Chucky is better than Seed of Chucky. GTA 5 or Call of Duty? I hate Call of Duty, so GTA 5. Someone says, will you ever review Town the Town? Sundown. I've never even seen it. I've seen pieces of the remake, so maybe. Ghostbusters, what did you like between the original and the reboot? He hated the reboot. I love pretty much everything about the original. The reboot had a couple of decent things about it. There was a couple of like cameos and nods that I liked, like the bust of Harold Ramis' head and stuff. And there was some decent laughs in a couple of scenes and some of the special effects of the ghosts were cool but i thought that the movie felt like it was all improv and hardly any of it landed and all of the forced cameos of all the original ghostbusters was terrible all right I, some of these i keep seeing are just like questions that we've already answered so i'm not even gonna ask all right these well five ones. more minutes guys and we'll be out of here so. <laughs> we've said five more minutes like 12 well, I, times. Yeah, that was before we were doing this rapid fire um, so favorite gonna... horror comedy film oh shit uh fright night all right, what about Rick Grimes leaving The Walking Dead? Don't give a fuck, because I left The Walking Dead before Rick Grimes did. What about um, Fiona leaving Shameless? 
Come back. <laughs> All Please. Right. How do you think the Walking Dead game will end? Oh, damn, Jax. I'm assuming Clementine's going to die. Have you ever dreamt of Freddy? Probably. All right. What's your favorite killer clown film? Uh, What's that fucked up one that we watched? The clown? No, where he started turning the one in. where the girls oh, were at the terrifier. diner. Yeah, that shit was fucking insane. Are you going to let your children watch terror movies at a young age? That's already happening. Yeah, that happened years ago. Do you like ago. Ocean's 8? I've never seen it. MMA I've or heard WWE? It's decent. Don't watch wrestling. All right, Ghostbusters 2, hit or miss or both? Uh, that question. It's mixed. All right, uh, Rob Zombie would be good for Leatherface. He fits Leatherface a hell of a lot more than he does Michael Myers. Someone said, would you rather have a sequel to Halloween 6 or Resurrection? Halloween 6. I think your Stephen King should make or remake sometimes. They, I don't know what that Sometimes is. they come back. Okay. That would be a cool one. All right, we're back. So the question was, Sons of Anarchy or Dexter? Sons. The best seasons of Dexter are ten times better than the best season of Sons of Anarchy. But the worst seasons of Dexter are far, far away worse than anything that Sons have ever done. So Sons is a more consistent, better overall show, but Dexter, when it was on top, was better. Someone said, Walking Dead sucks. Someone said, Terrifier is awesome. Someday. Mother Mayhem said, Someday my comments where I say my trademark Cody Leach line. We haven't seen it. They must have been blocking it. But her trademark line is fuck you Cody Leach. She wrote, hey! it, on, she wrote it on a t-shirt. I say that almost every day. Yeah. Except for I don't say Leach. I just say fuck you Cody. Yeah. Um, yeah. Only it's like in a question form like fuck you Cody. Yeah, like, no, yeah. it's definitely okay. not. <laughs> How funny would it be if Rob Zombie made a remake of Halloween 3 season of The Witch? That'd be off the wall and weird. Y'all leaving soon? I'm gonna cry. Yes, we are. Hey, uh -uh. <laughs> Do you have? She was jumping on the bed. You're jumping on the bed. Your All right. stream is too Come good here. to last. Come here. You want to end it with me? Keep Over one, here. lose Riley. one. Chucky or Freddy? Wait, can I? Keep one, lose one. My oh. daddy. Can't make me do that. Daddy. Come to daddy. Mama. Come here. You want to say hello? <laughs> say hello. Look. Look. Who's say that baby? Hi. Hi. Hey. Hi. Say <laughs> hey guys. Blow my kisses. Hey, <laughs> so I'm with my daddy. Hi, daddy. So he's mine. He's mine. My daddy. I knew I fucking loved Holly. Goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> don't say that. How did, did you hear about the Halloween game coming out? What did you think about that? No. Don't care, really. I haven't heard much about it, but I assume it's going to be like a Friday 13th game. Breaking Bad review yeah. coming soon? Absolutely. fucking no, my can't wait for the Chucky Can TV learn. show. All right, three more questions. Uh, hang on, hang on, stay here. All right, well, that's not a question, but she knew she loved me, so that's okay. great. Oh, my God, you're killing me with no. cuteness. Aw, hello. No. Um, say, 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 I'm cute. I'm cute. Someone said, who would win, I'm Michael cute. versus Jason? <laughs> who would win, Michael versus Jason? Jason. Someone said, no. cute kids, Mom. thank you. Mom. All right, two more questions. Uh, Will you make a review yes. on The Happening? I might eventually. That might be fun. Favorite horror video game? That's the last one I'm ending oh on. God. I already did a video, actually. It was top five horror who, video games. So who you does can... this? Favorite child? What in the world? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but I did a video not too long ago about um, favorite or top five horror video games. Uh, and my number one, spoiler alert, is The Last of Us. The Last of Us is probably one of the greatest games ever made. It's at least in my top two, along with Metal Gear Solid. But everything about that game, the storyline, the characters, um, it's incredible. So, Good Lord, please answer this question. Do you think Mr. Duke just showed up for the additions in Jeepers Keepers 3? And what do you think of a Jeepers remake? I have no idea who Mr. Duke is. Well, this and man has asked Jeepers like remake, time. Jeepers remake... <laughs> Answer the fucking question. You couldn't have a YouTube channel. <laughs> Motherfucker, answer the goddamn fucking question. What do I think of a Jeepers See? remake? What do I think of a Jeepers? Please. Yeah, Jeepers remake. <laughs> Eventually, maybe. I don't see it happening. Sorry, we um missed your question, man. It's like a long ones. I don't like to read long shit. The whole, whole family should come in and visit Canada. Oh lord. Rub no. it in Mike's face that you've had poutine. Yeah, that would be cool. Who is Mike? From uh, we watched a movie. I don't know who that is. We watched a movie. I don't watch any of this YouTube stuff. Yeah, she's none of it. 
All you right. know what we watch on YouTube? Baby fucking shark. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thanks, Cody, for everything. That's the last one. Okay, so thank you so much for your super chat. Thank you, guys. I pray to God this video does not fuck up because it's, it's switched off. Stop it. It's switched off so many times. But uh, I hope you fuckers are happy that you just put me through that misery, even though hanging out with you guys was fun. We will do this again in two weeks, unless next weekend I get bored. Um, but the next one will be The Lost Boys. Ooh. Uh, thank Ooh. you for coming in and being entertainment at the end, as well as you and you and You're you welcome. and you and everybody else. You two jacks. But uh, you guys have a good rest of your weekend. I will see you on the next commentary. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Like, if for everybody that's watching this, maybe um, on a repeat, if it does go, please like and share the video and hit that subscribe button. And to check out other videos, you can check those out somewhere on the screen down here. But, yeah. Golf Freddy's part. dead. Bye. Golf part. No, no, <laughs> Bye. no. Where the hell is my... <laughs> How do I stop it? Holly in next time. Yeah, I'm going to bring you into one. Oh, Lord Jesus. Yes.